plant drought tolerance. It's all about the stomata. Water is a necessary ingredient for all living systems, including the growth and development of all the plants we see and eat. Most agricultural fields are thoroughly irrigated and well supplied with a means of providing plants with the necessary amount of water they require. With the current condition of our global climate, future trajectories are revealing that we need to be mindful of warming temperatures and decrease in yearly rainfall. This will directly impact water availability, thus affect crop yield. A better understanding of the physiological and morphological mechanisms some plants have evolved to tolerate drought can save the agricultural industry and the human food supply. If we can figure out a way to manipulate genes responsible for the remarkable drought resistance in some species, we may be able to improve our crop yield. What is classified as drought stress? Drought stress can be defined as the lack of minimum amount of water needed to supply the basal requirements of otherwise well-adapted plants. Drought tolerance is simply the ability of the plant to survive and grow. Today, we will get into the basic mechanisms of how plants undergo drought tolerance. The major phenotypic characteristics that contribute to water use efficiency and drought tolerance come from a plant's leaf and root morphology. Leaf responses to low levels of water are leaf rolling, stomatal aperture control, and decreases in stomatal density. In the roots, the root depth and length can influence the plant's ability to uptake water from the ground. Roots that grow in a more downward direction can reach deeper depths to access water. Genotypically, drought resistance is regulated by numerous small effect loci and hundreds of genes and hormones. ABA is a phytohormone which is closely related to drought stress responses in plants. Controlling ABA concentrations leads to controls in stomatal closure. When plants close their stomata, less water is being lost to transpiration out of its leaves. This is called stomatal conductance, which is the rate of CO2 entering the leaf and water vapor exiting. When the water is low, it is perceived as a signal by root cells. These cells trigger an increase in ABA synthesis. ABA is then transported to the leaves and recognized by guard cells. Guard cells become smaller and in turn cause the stomata to close. Drought stress induces the biosynthesis of intracellular ABA, which activates the corresponding transcription factors and then promotes the expression of downstream drought-related genes. ABA is located at the central position in the regulatory network of stomatal closure. There are at least three relatively independent signal transduction pathways which function in drought stress responses in plants. The ABA dependent pathway. One group of scientists approach to improving drought tolerance was to increase the transcription of native drought stress inducible genes. They chose the NCED gene because it is considered the rate limiting step in ABA synthesis. An increase in the amount of NCED enzymes would lead to a faster response during drought stress conditions. In order to regulate the overexpression of NCED to only times of water stress, the gene was conjugated to the stress inducible promoter RD29A. The insertion of this chimeric gene into plants resulted in transgenic plants that were more drought tolerant than wild type plants. In the ABA dependent pathway, ABRE is the major cis element gene for ABA responsive gene expression. ABRE binding protein and ABRE binding transcription factor control gene expression. One of the nine AREB transcription factors identified in Arabidopsis, AREB1, ABF2, has been reported to control ABA signaling and environmental stress responses during the vegetative growth stage. The AREB ABF transcription factors are induced by abiotic stress and their transcriptional activities 
are best mediated by ABA-dependent phosphorylation. In order to fully activate AREB1, ABA is required. Overexpressing deleted and active forms of AREB1 in transgenic Arabidopsis plants illustrated improved drought tolerance and ABA hypersensitivity. ABA independent pathway. In an ABA independent pathway, researchers looked at NAC, a plant specific transcription factor family with many genes in this family that are responsive to drought. Stress responsive NAC1, known as SNAC1, is a member of the rice NAC family. It specifically induces guard cells in drought stress conditions. Overexpression of SNAC1 in rice resulted in significantly enhanced drought resistance under severe drought conditions at the reproductive stage. The modified rice also showed no negative phenotypic consequences or reduced yield from rice grown in normal water conditions. SNAC1 overexpression in rice increased ABA sensitivity in guard cells which resulted in a reduction in how long the stomata stayed open and increased the water use efficiency of the plant. When SNAC1 was overexpressed in wheat, transgenic wheat also showed improved drought resistance, providing additional promising evidence for the value of this gene. Studies like these are examples of ways in which researchers have already begun to manipulate plant genetics to improve drought resistance. Further implementation of these methods, based on what we know of plant drought tolerance mechanisms, can bring us closer to combating future problems related to water stress. This way, we can continue to grow crops in light of climate change perturbations.